it'll be what it is and it'll be fun. This will make sense, maybe. us this week today we are going to go through probably some uh, flows three-legged dog uh, probably flow into some pigeon things of that nature we'll see what happens uh, move within your abilities maybe have a towel in case your hands start slipping a cup of water a bottle of water in case you're thirsty uh, move at your own risk and hopefully you enjoy so let's Scoot on back and get going. All right. Let's come down to our backs. We can let our arms fall to the side. Roll your shoulders into the floor. And then just feel how you touch the floor, connect to the floor. Release any tension. Let the body be heavy. Bring awareness to your breath. Inhaling into the belly first, into the chest, into the throat, and release throat, chest, belly. One more, belly, into the chest, and then into the throat, and then releasing from the top down. One more, from the bottom, inhale. And release from the top. Good. Let's inhale the arms up overhead. And we'll play with the rotation of the hands. So I'm going to go palms towards each other. And then backs of the hands to the floor. And as the back of my hand goes to the floor, I'm going to pull the shoulders down. And go palms to each other. And shoulders down. Palms in. Palms up, palms in, palms up, and we'll bring the hands down, palms down, bend our knees, and we'll press into the floor, bridging up. Hips will come down, we'll reach up with the arms, and we'll bridge here. We'll come down with the arms, and we'll bridge our arms in a low position. Down, arms up, hips up. Just alternating. Bridging with the arms down. And bridging with the arms up. One more. And last one. Good. So now, we'll come into a bridge again. I'm going to reach diagonally across with my right arm over my left shoulder. If you would like, you can reach straight across, but we're going to bridge and turn onto that shoulder. If you'd like, you can reach up and look up, whatever you feel comfortable with. The weight goes into the shoulder, opposite side, left arm across. As I bridge, I turn and down. Let's say, let's do five of those each side. One, two, hips high, three, four, and we're going to hold this one, maybe look around, make sure you're not on your head, and we'll come back, opposite side, same thing, bridge nice and tall. My head is free, hips lift, and we'll come down. Good, let's bring both knees into the chest, and we'll start to add a little rock here, kind of shake off the rust, and let's just play with pointing our toes and flexing our feet. Four, three, two, one, releasing the left leg, we'll point the toe. 
Now flex the foot and switch. Right toes pointed, reaching long through the foot. And we'll switch. Point and flex. Point and flex. One more each side. Good. Whatever hand and whatever knee is up, I'm gonna use the opposite side. So right knee is up, left hand takes it. I'm gonna bring it across the body. I'm gonna reach my right arm to the ceiling and then open up behind me. Oh yeah. Come back to center, we'll hug the knee and we'll bring the nose and knees to meet. Let's do that five times. One, two, three, four, five. Switching sides, left knee in, right hand brings it to the right side of the body. All right. Aim the left arm to the ceiling, line up my spine and then open up behind me. Coming to our backs, let's bring that knee to nose. One, two, three, Six. Good. Release the knees. Feet can come down. And we'll just sway them side to side. Nice and slow and smooth. If you want, you can relax the arms to the side. Let's pause with our knees to the right. My left knee, I'm going to try to reach towards the floor. And as I do, I'm going to try to eliminate this arch. So I feel it more in the hip. And switching sides, knees to the left. My right knee's actively reaching and I'm trying to stay flat to the floor. Good. Let's just sway for three. For two, and one, good. We'll rock up, come over to our tabletop position, and let's just rock between child's pose. You can go knees wide, try to close that gap between your hips and your stomach, melting the chest to the floor, and then I'm gonna pull through as I come forward into my cobra. You can also stay low, keeping the arms soft in case that's too much. The idea is to tune inward and listen to your body. What do you want? What do you need right now? Hippie stuff. Good, one more. And this time, instead of flowing back to that child's pose, I'm gonna pause my tabletop, I'm gonna go right into cat. And cow. So exhale round. Inhale, lift. And round. And lift. Good, engage the feet, I'm gonna press back, and I'm gonna grip through the hands, just float the knees. Warming up our feet. I'm gonna extend the legs, lifting my hips. Finding our downward facing dog. And 
then we can pedal out the feet. You can also adjust your hands and feet position, finding what works for you. But I'm just alternating one heel up, like I'm bicycling. It will come down to the knees. I'm going to step the right foot outside the right hand and we'll just rock forward. I'm going to go top of the foot in the back to the floor and then I'll rock back. Rocking forward. Rocking forward, I'm going to engage the toes, maybe raise the knee, and we'll step back to our plank. We'll lower it down, peel up, press up, tabletop, toes engage, float the knees, and extend the legs. Downward facing dog. Let's do three pedals. One, two, three, land the knees, left foot steps outside the left hand, and we'll again, we'll shift forward. I'm trying not to collapse through my chest, through my torso, I'm trying to reach proud through the top of my head, and then rocking back. Shifting forward, I'm going to take the top of the foot to the mat this time, and then rock back. If you feel more comfortable with the toes engaged, feel free to do so. Your practice. One more. Shifting forward, engaging the toes, right knee lifts. Step into my plank. Elbows hug in, chaturanga, all the way down to our cobra. Tabletop, child's pose, float up to my cat, and downward facing dog. Why not? And let's just flow from downward facing to plank. So I'm going to pull through the hands and torpedo forward. And I'm going to press and lift the hips. You can inhale, shift forward, exhale, send the hips up. Two more. One more. Good. We'll come up to the tippy toes. Right foot will come inside the hands this time. Good. I am going to 180. So right foot's inside the hands. I'm in my lunge. I'm going to raise the knee. Pivot the heel over in the back. So left foot's perpendicular to the front. And I'm going to walk my hands to the left and then shoot my hips back. Heavy hips. I'm going to walk that front right foot forward, per parallel feet, wide legged forward fold. Left toes. Point forward as I walk my hands off into that 45, that 2 o'clock direction, and I'm going to sink down, send my hips back. Good, walking my hands, framing that left foot, right heel lifts in my low lunge, right knee lands, we'll step back. I'm going to Press back and then shift forward into that cobra. Melt down, peel up, tabletop, coming back to that downward facing. And we're going to go back the way we came. So I'm going to cut tippy toes, knees can come down, left foot to the center. Good. 
right knee lifts, walking my hands around the clock, right heel falls, mid-lat warrior two stance, and leaning forward. This time before we come all the way around, I'm going to take my left foot, make it parallel, and I'm going to lean in to my side lunge. So we were here, and I turned, and I'm sinking in. We'll come up to center, flat back, and fold. If you're feeling good, you can take your hands to your ankles. Let the upper body hang. Releasing the hands, lifting up. Bending into the right knee this time. Coming to that side lunge. Now my right foot faces forward. Coming back to that warrior two foot side lungey. Fun times. Coming back to frame the foot, left heel lifts, dropping the knee, stepping back. I'm gonna engage the toes, grip through my hands, press so my knees float. And let's just do this. So first one will be an experiment to feel where you're at. As you grip, you're gonna press through into your plank. My hands are a little shy. I'm going to go forward and then press back. And we'll do five more. Grip, five, four, three, two, one. Knees come down. We'll come up to kneel, sitting up nice and tall. From here, I'm going to plant my hands, widen my knees, and I'm going to windshield wiper my feet to the left, right down the middle of the pocket, come into my side bent sit. I can take the weight out of the hip and put the weight into the hip. And like when we walked around, same idea, I'm going to go forward, walk around as I walk to the center. My hips will come up, a windshield wiper, the feet behind me, and then I'll sit up nice and tall, coming forward, feet to the opposite side, to the right, coming back, side bend set this direction. Again, I can play on and off with the weight, and then I'll fold forward over that left thigh, walk to the front, hips come up. Windshield wiper, brought to you by Nike, not really. And folding forward, let's go knees to, feet to the left. And melt down, side bend, sit. Let's add a, a crescent stretch here. We'll reach up and over with the left arm. So really try to round the ribs up to the ceiling. And then we'll frame the floor, two hands. And then we'll lift up for three, two, one. Coming forward, hips lift, feet switch. Sending our hips back, coming up. Left hand plants, right arm reaches, right ribs lift to the ceiling. And then right hand to the floor. And up for three, for two, and one. Good. Walking my hands back to the front. Windshield wiper my feet. Let's take a moment in our child's pose. We'll melt all the way down. And then we'll peel up. Bring my knees together, sit me up nice and tall. Let's get going. So, let's come to our downward facing dog, and we'll kind of do a little flow. 
hands plant, toes tuck in, hips lift. I'm gonna raise the right heel high. I'm gonna shift to plank, keeping that right foot up. Sending it back high. Familiar, we're gonna go right knee to right elbow as we shift forward this time. Boom. And high. Crossing the body to the left elbow. Boom. And high. Let's go knee to nose, I'm gonna round. And high. Right knee towards the right wrist will come into pigeon. So my front foot is now a little more parallel with my hands, or if it's not accessible, foot can be straight back towards your groin. This is round one of this. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll melt down, peel up, back foot engages, hips lift, right leg high. Now I'm gonna take the knee wide to the outside, and back and down. Left foot up, three-legged, or foot elevated plank. Knee to left elbow, knee to right elbow, knee towards the nose, we're gonna round our backs, kicking it high, and we'll come into that pigeon. So this time the knee is towards the left wrist, foot's towards the right wrist, Proud chest forward, like a cobra, if you will. And then we'll come down. We'll lift up. Toes engage if they're not. Hips lift. Foot goes high. Knee goes wide. And back. Foot comes down. We'll land the knees. Peel up. And let's step up right. Step up left. One more each side. And then back to downward facing dog. Three legged dog. Right foot lifted plank. Knee to elbow right. Knee to elbow left. Knee to center. Pigeon. Melt it down. Floating up. Knee wide, and back. Opposite side, left heel high. Left elbow, right elbow. Down the center. Pigeon. Melt it down. Inhale it up. Float it back. Knee wide. Three-legged. Knees come down, peel them back. Let's do two each side. Right foot up, left foot up, right foot up, left foot up. Downward facing. Let's go right foot high, right foot high still. Knee to elbow, knee to left elbow, knee down the center. Pigeon, down, inhale up, lift, knee wide, and down, left heel high, elevated foot plank, knee to left, knee to right, knee to center, pigeon, Coming down, coming up, setting it up, three-legged, and back to our kneeling position. And let's step up right, step up left, step up right, and left. Good. I'm gonna heel toe, my knees open. My feet open, feet parallel, toes engaged. Like I'm gonna shoot back to child's pose, but I'm gonna grip through the feet, lift up my hips, come into my deep squat. I can adjust my feet, heel toeing them away, away from each other, 
Maybe arms come out, hips come down. Inhale, sweep the arms, lift up, and we'll come back down. Let's do five, four, three, two, one, at the top, heel toes feet again, a little further, we're going to sink back into the side lunges this time. Let's do a few variations. We'll do like a circular motion where I go up, down, up, staying down, down and around. Good. We're switch directions. Come to the left, going to the right. One more. Good. Stay nice and low. Right toes to the front. Like that word two stance, and I'm going to shoot my hips back, folding forward. Walking through, right toes forward, left toes out to the left, opposite side. Either coming back to center. Let's have a wide-legged forward fold. So inhale, flat back, and exhale, fold. Just a few times. Inhale, flat back. We can widen your stance if you would like. And fold forward. Inhale, flat back. I'm going to reach through as I fold. Maybe gripping the floor, pulling myself towards my legs. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Flat back. Right hand plants. Left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, hand comes down. Right arm up this time. And right hand down, left arm up. Switching. And down. Hands wide, we're going to just sink the hips back. Probably see you here. So from my flat back, it's going to rock back and fold. And why not? Let's get creative. Left hand strong, right knee to bends. I'm going to slide through and come down to my side bend sit. And let's play with that. Yep. Side bend sit. My knees are to my left. My left hand plants. I'm gonna bridge my hips up. Right toes engage. Foot engages. And I step out. Wide legged forward fold. Coming to the right hand. My left toes open the pathway. My right foot is gonna come through. Figure four. Side bent sit. Right hand plants, left knee, lift, left knee lifts, right foot retracts underneath, wide legged forward fold. Same thing, bend the knees, right foot opens the path, slide in, knee comes down. So same way coming back, left hand plants, rocking to that figure four, boom, pull the hip out from underneath. Kind of like a technical stand-up in Jiu-Jitsu. Right hand plants, sliding through, and side bend sit. And let's add one more piece because why not? 
practice movement class after all. So from my side bend sit, my right hand's already down. My left foot's the top leg. I'm gonna step up and over into my low lunge type position, and then we'll reverse. Side bent, figure four base, wide legged stance. Same thing, left hand, right toes to the right, baseball slide in, figure, uh, figure four, side bent sit, step up. Left hand, rewind to side bent, right knee opens, hips go back, plant the foot. Switch, figure four, side bend, turn. Side bend, figure four, retract. Side bend, step up. Step back, retract. One, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. One, two, three. And just why not? Let's see how smooth we can get through. Maybe not pausing in that side bend sit. So I'm going to left hand down, coming through. I don't need to dip my knee if I know I'm going to get out of there. So, boom, boom. Figure four, stepping over, up. Right back to the figure four, and up. Boom, half butterfly, if you will. Up, half butterfly, boom. Wide legged, half, turn. Back, up. And two more seconds. As you can tell, I'm not good with time. Wide legged forward fold, heel toe our feet to meet, and come on down to our knees. Let's alternate flat foot kneeling to tuck toes. Up and flat. Inhale the arms up, exhale down. Inhaling up, feet switch, coming down. Inhale, exhale. Good, we'll plant the hands. Take our knees a little bit wider. Unlike when we windshield wipered our feet, kind of do the same thing here. As I windshield wiper my feet to the left, I'm gonna step my left foot up. Nice and slow, knee comes back. Windshield wiper the feet to the right. Right foot steps up and back. This is nice and slow. You know you're stepping up, you're making a right angle with your feet. And one more each direction. Good. Coming back to center, we'll just slide our feet out. And why not come into a seated split. 
nice tall chest, long spine. And let's just roll through. So you can shorten your stance. This is windshield wipering my feet. Come back to center. We'll inhale and fold. Inhale and fold to the left. Inhale and fold to the right. It's like I'm at a car dealership. Do two more. One. And down to center. Coming up, we'll reach up and over with the right arm. Left arm can go down the center, elbow to thigh if you like, and we'll roll the ribs up to the ceiling. And we'll inhale opposite side. Again, elbow to thigh, forearm to thigh, roll the ribs up. Switch. Switch, 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 and we'll hold here. Okay, maybe hands come to meet. Think of as you exhale, release any tension, any muscle and just melt down towards the side. And we'll come up, opposite side, up and over. And we'll hang out here. With every exhale, you try to release the tension, kind of get comfortable there. And it'll come up. Let's bring ear to shoulder. Opposite ear to opposite shoulder, ear to shoulder, opposite, then we'll go chin to chest, inhale lift, exhale fold the chin down, inhale lifting up, exhale chin to chest, Inhale up once more. We're going to lift the arms, lift the chest. Big inhale. Exhale, palms together. Elbows can come down. All right. Thank you, guys. That is time. If there's anything you want to see next week, uh, let me know in the next class. And I'll try to incorporate it. And hope to see you then. Adios.